Hi, everybody. Matt Bernier joined by DRF's national handicapper, Mike Watchmaker, taking a look at this weekend's Weekend Warrior for the weekend of October the 20th. We've got racing from Keeneland, Belmont Park, as well as Santa Anita. Mike, let's start with the ninth race at Keeneland, the grade two Raven run, three-year-old fillies, seven-eighths of a mile on the main track. Feels like year in and year out, this race always attracts a full field. No different this year. Giant field signed on. Where are you going to go? Uh, well, Matt, I think the three fillies coming out of the stakes races at Saratoga are the right horses. I just think it's a question of which horse you want of those three. And the three I'm talking about are uh, Moonlight Memories, Moonshine Memories, excuse me, uh, dual grade one winner last year. Uh, she finished third in the Prioress after a terrible start that put her uh, uncharacteristically far off the early pace. And then you've got uh, uh, Kelly Schumer and Alter Moon, who ran third and fourth only a nose apart in the test stakes. Um, of those three, I actually thought Kelly Schumer ran the best race of all of them. And the reason why I say that is because on the day of the test, the rail was absolutely dead at Saratoga. I mean, it was dead. And Kelly Schumer was so far out of it early, she could have been on anywhere on the racetrack she wanted to be. And she was, for some mysterious reason, on the dead rail to the top of the stretch when she moved off the rail to go around one horse. And then for an even more mysterious reason, went back to the rail for the final eighth of a mile. Um, whereas Alter Moon was on the rail tracking the, the early pace on the test stakes. And uh, she didn't get off the rail until upper stretch. Um, and when she did, uh, Kelly Schumer just barely out finished her. Uh, Kelly Schumer ran the best race, but this race is at Keeneland, and Keeneland has not been kind to deep closers, all fall meet like Kelly Schumer. I mean, it's been basically a speed favoring main track, all fall meet. And I really think that under those circumstances, Alter Moon's the horse here, and she's the one I'm going with because uh, she's got the perfect stock and pounce style for this race. There's, there's a lot of speed in it in this race. Some of it is suspect. Uh, the race we're looking at right here was her big win in the, in the Azalea Stakes. Uh, this was the race before she was purchased privately for 675, at auction for $675,000 uh, and made her first start for Chad Brown on the test. Now she's been in Brown's program for an extended period of time. That's only a good thing. I, I just think Alter Moon's the right horse here. Up in New York on Saturday, the New York Breds take center stage. Race number 10 is the Empire Classic. It's a mile and an eighth on the main track. Again, another nice full field put together. You have a few different ways to go. Where did you ultimately land? Well, I, I you know, I really think that a pat on the back is going to be super tough in this race. He's just, he's done tremendous work for Jeremiah Engelhart in his last three starts since moving to that barn. I mean, he's uh, a nose and a neck away from, from being a, a three-time stakes winner. Uh, since the since the barn switch, but you know, even though I'm a speed figure guy, I just can't I can't resist Evaluator in this spot. Evaluator is not the fastest horse in this race. He's a three year old running against older horses, but I thought he ran tremendous when he was a narrowly beaten second in the Albany last time out. And the reason why I say that is this was the day before the Traverse Stakes, and this was probably one of, if not the most speed-biased racetracks of the entire Saratoga meet. I mean, speed was winning everything. And this horse, Evaluator, came from way out of it to be a narrowly beaten second in the Albany. I mean, it was a strong effort against a potent track bias. This horse has lots of room to improve. I think he's going to offer some value in this race. For me, it's Evaluator in the Empire Classic. Out on the West Coast, we have these new five furlong turf sprints at Santa Anita. It's a little bit of a different ball game than what we've been used to. And the fifth race is the California flag. It's restricted to California breads. It's not a bit full field in here, but you've got two horses that kind of stand out head and shoulders above the rest of the field in Tribalist and Richard's Boy. I'm curious your thoughts on Richard's Boy because I know you're siding with Tribalist. Right. Well, uh, you know, Richard's Boy is, I mean, he was beating a photo in last year's Breeders' Cup turf sprint. He's a very, very capable horse. But this is a prep race for the turf sprint, and it's only in two weeks. So he's not going to empty his tank. I mean, prep is the key word here. And the other thing is, I've only seen a handful of these five for a long turf races at Santa Anita. But everyone I've seen, the horse who made the early lead won. I mean, and, you know, oddly, even though there are some horses with traces of really speed in here, there's not a lot of really speed in this race. And my hope is that Tribalist is ridden aggressively out of the gate because if he is, 
he's certainly quick enough to clear this field early. And if he clears this field early, Richards boy, who, you know, loses a lot of close decisions anyway, might not be able to catch him. I mean, tribalist on his best day could be better than Richards boy. He proved that when he won the green flash at Del Mar last year, he was a million lengths the best in that race after a tough trip. And two starts back, he was beaten uh, a, a photo after setting the pace in an allowance race by Stormy Liberal, who I think is going to be the favorite in the turf sprint. So Tribalist, I think, is going to get the jump on him. He's not going to be the favorite. I'm looking for a wire-to-wire -wire score. Nice weekend of racing. We get closer and closer to the Breeders' Cup, but that doesn't mean that these weeks leading up to it don't have some solid opportunities. DRF's national handicapper, Mike Watchmaker, with this weekend's Weekend Warrior. You can find the entire write-up over on DRF.com. Great stuff as always, Mike. Good luck this weekend. Thanks a lot, Matt.